guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a bit of a mashup of things. So I'm going to do like a little update on my no buy. I'm already just over a month into my no buy and I've got less than two months left. So I'm going to talk about whether I've caved and purchased any products, whether um, I've had to repurchase anything, anything that's on my wish list that I really want to purchase when my no buy is over. Um, and also just actually things that I've already got in my collection that I'm kind of really loving at the precise moment in time. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. Okay so so far I've been very good, I haven't caved and purchased any form of makeup. I haven't even had to repurchase any kind of products that have run out yet. A few products I have run out of um, but I've had other alternatives to use instead. But no I haven't actually caved at all yet and bought any new products but the products I have used up there's three I've used up one I can't find so I don't know whether I've already like kind of dealt with it or not or whether I've just misplaced it because I was meant to keep it for the video but it's the Avril mascara that I won in a little competition um so I believe it's a French brand and it was really good at like lengthening the lashes and you had to layer up to get the volume which I like and it was a really nice mascara I don't think I'd repurchase it only because I think I prefer my Lily Lolo Big Lash Mascara more. Um, and at the moment, I've still got my Lily Lolo and my Kiko one. It's still going strong. So until those both run out, I won't repurchase any mascara anyway. But I think Lily Lolo Big Lash is my favourite one. And as much as I enjoy the other one, I just don't think I'm going to repurchase it afterwards. This product has finally run out. This is a Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is a really nice primer. It's really nice, especially for oily skin, because... It hasn't got that horrible, like, mattifying feeling, but it gives a nice moisturising effect, but it feels tacky to the touch, which means the makeup clings and, like, not clings, but sticks to the face and lasts really long throughout the day. Um, I did really enjoy this. I might try and find, like, a clean beauty dupe for this um, and see what it's about, but I do think I might repurchase this. I might just repurchase the travel size of it and experiment with other primers as well. Um... I'm not going to repurchase it just yet because I've still got my um, This Works Mask Moisturizer and Primer one. So for now, that will be up what I'm using. But I do think once my No Buy is up or once the both of products finish, I do think I'm going to repurchase this one because I did thoroughly enjoy it. But I'm going to find like clean beauty dupes for it and stuff like that and, and experiment with other primers as well. Admittedly, I don't always prime my skin before I do a makeup. It I kind of depends what mood I'm in or what the look is, whether it requires me to have like a long lasting finish. Um, Cause you can just go with a moisturizer to smooth out the skin if you wanted to. But um, for like long days or if it's quite warm, a primer is quite a good option. And I did thoroughly enjoy this. And yes, like I said, I think I possibly will repurchase this once my no buy is up. And the final thing I have used up and will 100% will be repurchasing it. And it may look like it's still got some in, but I've really tried to scrape it out and I'm just struggling now. So it's kind of done with. And it is the Lily Lolo Lip Gloss in Whisper. My absolute favourite lip gloss from Lily Lolo. And I think my favourite lip gloss just in general at the moment. Um, I would like to experiment with lip glosses, um, other lip glosses once this no bites up. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoy this one. It works well with so many lips. You like by itself to create a really nice nude lip. We can use it to like lighten other lips, so with a nice pink lip, you can use that in the centre and it lightens up. Uh, it's not a sticky formula, uh, it feels really smooth and nourishing on the lips, which is why I really enjoy it. And yeah, you know, I love, whenever I've used a gloss, it's nearly always been a little low whisper lip gloss. So I will 100% be repurchasing this once my no buy is up. Yeah, so those are the only things I've actually used up at the moment. There are things that are very much on the way to being used up, but at the moment, that's that. So I'm going to move on to products I've been enjoying a lot recently and there are three that I want to talk about and like I said they're not going to be new products because obviously I'm going to know buy but I've been enjoying them for like a more everyday purpose and they go really nicely like hand in hand together. So first of all it's Hair Beauty Concealer in the shade Deep. So a really nice option for a cream bronzer. I do believe this is the deepest these concealers go which isn't great because obviously it's not very inclusive at all. Um, but for me this works well as a cream bronzer. So it's really nice, it melts into the skin well. It will add a little bit of coverage. So say if you're just doing a very kind of light look, you just go in a bit of concealer, like say I'll go in my um, concealer in light and put it in the areas where I need to. And this will add a little bit of coverage just around the perimeters but also give a nice warmth to the skin as well. And because it's cream, it blends beautifully into the skin and it gives a more natural bronzed effect as well. Obviously, I do like my Doctor Who skirt, but I've been enjoying this one just a little bit more at the moment for that bronzed effect. So yeah, that I have been really enjoying at the moment. 
And then they're all kind of cream and liquids. You probably see where I'm going with this. So the Ritual de Fee Inner, Inner Glow Cream Pigment, I never remember the name of this, in Delirium. It's a really beautiful kind of coral toned blusher. And you can really kind of customise how impactful you want the blusher to be. I do like quite a, an intense highlighter. I should have put some of this on my face, but like I said before, I'm trying to give my skin a break as much as I can throughout this process, as well as giving you plenty of makeup looks. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy this. It's a really nice colour. Again, because it's cream, it melts beautifully into the skin and it gives more, much more of a natural finish to the skin, which is why I really enjoy it. So for like those no makeup or minimal makeup days, this is really beautiful. And I love this because you can obviously put it on your eyes and you can put it on your lips as well. It's a very multi-purpose products you can do a great like minimal um monotone not monotone, monochrome makeup look and works really nicely together and then finally for a perfect everyday glow it's the my chia highlight of the hour highlight of the day sorry in golden hour i've got my shade in really nice lightweight there's no coverage to this and there's no spark or glitter so it's a really nice natural glow to the skin so if you're someone who does prefer that and again, it creates a really nice natural finish on the skin, so it almost looks like your skin is actually glowing. So those are just a really nice combination to go together for like a really um, natural, minimal, everyday look. Because like I said, the creams, the liquids, so blend in the skin better. They blend together nicely and they just look a lot more natural on the skin. So those are products I've just been really enjoying at the moment. And then for the final part of this video, like I said, this is very much a mismatch a mashup of kind of video things but um my wish list now this probably will be a bit longer so there have been a few things i've had my eye on that i really would like to try once this no buy is up now i'm going to start off with ether beauty so uh, ever since i discovered ether beauty i do i thoroughly enjoyed it i think it is quite pricey for some of the products and stuff like that well for all the products but what you've got to take into consideration is the ingredients they put into it, like the recycling. Um, everything is very ethical, cruelty-free, vegan, natural. Like I said, you, packaging is fully recyclable as well. Um, so that's just something I kind of take into account when purchasing. And I've never had a bad experience so far. So they brought out a few new things. Products, unfortunately, the lip creams I really want to try. You can still only get on Sephora US, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Obviously, I'm not buying anytime soon. But they've got two new cheek palettes. So it's a, a trio of two blushes and a highlighter. And they've got two different um, shades of them. So the first one is the Rose Quartz palette. And it's got the classic kind of Ether Beauty packaging, like the style of it and the aesthetic of it. Um, and it comes with, yeah, two blushes. One that is a peachy pink matte, and one that's a rose pink matte. So really beautiful, soft, springtime colours, really beautiful. And it paired with a light pink highlighter. Now I did look at the highlighters in comparison to the highlighters they've already got out. I do think they're slightly different shades because there is a pink diamond dust, um, which is kind of like a pink themed... Um, I feel it's got a goldness to it, whereas this class is a light pink highlighter. So I feel like it's going to be a diff slightly different shade, which I'm quite pleased about. And so that looks really pretty. It's really soft, like springtime um, colours. And I just love blushes. I think I get more excited over blushes than I do bronzers. Like my Lily Love Sculpt and Glow, I love. And I lo really like the Alima Pure um, Satin Bronzer. But I don't have, like seek out bronzers, if that makes sense. When a new one comes on the market, I'm not like... Okay, this looks amazing. Whereas with like blushes, I do get more excited because they're more different tones and you can create and you can pair them with different looks and stuff like that. So I do get slightly more excited with like blushes and stuff. So that looks really pretty. And then the other one they've got is in the shade Ruby. So again, two blushes, one highlight. So this one comes with a peach golden highlight, which I feel like would really complement kind of deeper skin tones. Um, I would be interested in trying it out and see what it's like. Then you've got a petal pink matte. They do have names, but some of the names I can't pronounce, so I'm not going to. And um, they have a petal pink matte in there, and then they also have one which I'd really love to try. And again, I think this is more aimed at like deeper skin complexions. It's got a vintage rose with gold shimmer. It does look quite like rosy and like ruby-like, as the name would suggest. And it does look so pretty. And I'm really intrigued to see what their blusher formula is like. Like I said, I haven't been disappointed with the eyeshadows, and I haven't been disappointed with the highlighters yet. So I'd imagine they'd make an amazing blusher as well. So I'm really excited to try those out. They've also, I know they did at one point bring out a limited edition highlighter, which is like a beautiful yellow packaging. But it was quite a golden colour and definitely something with some 
are definitely highlights that suit deeper skin tones for sure. However, they have brought, they are going to bring out a new eyeshadow palette. It's on pre-order at the moment, and it's called the Joshua Tree Palette, and it's all mattes, which I quite like because I do sort of wish I'd picked up the Crystal Grid Palette. I know it's kind of disappearing now, and maybe if it's still around, I might go for it because that's all um, metallics. This is all mattes. The packaging looks stunning. I have to say, I'm really pleased. Like they managed to make the packaging like recyclable and everything like that, but they've kept it still looks beautiful, like pretty and beautiful. I love like the um, ombre effect of this palette in particular. I just think it's so pretty. Um, but it's all mattes, but it's also pops of colour in there. They're not like really vibrant colours like I'd find in my Carnival palette, but they're really nice like pops of colour, which I think could look really pretty. And I mentioned like I really enjoy the mattes in these palettes, so I'm hoping. Especially with some of these colours. There's a really deep kind of greeny blue that I really love the look of in this palette. I just think maybe it could be quite a cool and fun palette to play with. And something a bit different from them as well. And like I said, the packaging looks amazing as well. Um, so yes, that's another thing that is definitely on my wish list. So that's kind of Ether Beauty roundup. So other things I've got on my wish list is I definitely want to purchase, I've said this before, more of a Benacos eyeliners so i've got like the blue i did have the cream but i don't know where it went and the blue and they've got some greens purples i wish they had a yellow but i feel like i could get yellow from soul tree the soul tree Cachals, like i've got the blue and purple before because they make such a great like base for colors and especially the benefits ones Especially the Benacos ones, they blend really nicely and you can create some really cool looks. You can use them as obviously eyeliner in the waterline or like along the lash line. You can smudge them out or as I've used before like as eyeshadow bases to create a really nice colourful base to whatever look you're doing. Which I really like so I definitely want to pick up some more in like the other shades of blue. They've got the greens and the purples and I do want to pick up the white as well. Um, and I might try out the black and brown because if their formula is nice then I'm definitely going to give that a go. Um... So those I definitely want to um, definitely get more of um, and stuff like that. A couple other products I've got on my wish list are actually kind of lipsticks. So as you know, I'm after like a really great orange lipstick for the summer. There are a few I've got my eye on that I'd quite like to try out. So I really enjoyed the 100% Pure Cocoa butter matte lipsticks so i've got a few and there is a shade that i'd really like to try out it's not like a vibrant orange but it's quite an interesting color it's called prickly pear and it looks like really pretty a nice like kind of spring to summer transition lipstick and like i said i really enjoy the formulas of the other ones i got so i just can't see how i would be disappointed by this one so i'm really eager to try that one out now antipods I've got one lipstick from them, the Remarkable Red. They've got this shade, which is a smoky red orange. It's called West Coast Sunset, which looks absolutely stunning. And it's kind of the orangey shade I will like for summer, like the orangey red. And it, honestly, it looks so beautiful. And obviously, I enjoyed the formula of the other one. It's kind of got that glossy feel to it. So it's got a nice moisturizing one. Um, but it looks like such a beautiful shade of like orangey red that'd be really up my street. So I would love to um, have a go and play with that lipstick. Oh, another product I'd really love to try. Now, it's not a clean beauty product. It's from Linda Halberg, who I absolutely love the work she does on Instagram. And her makeup looks absolutely stunning. And quite a lot of it is inspiration for my stuff. But she has this eye gloss. And I just think it's the most beautiful product for, like, editorial looks. And I've tried, like, glosses before. And they're quite sticky on the eyes. I know that you can try other techniques. But the look she does with it is like absolutely beautiful i know like i said she isn't um they're not necessarily clean beauty but i've really wanted to try it for such a long time so i might just give it a go and just see what kind of cool editorial wet eyelid looks i can come up with and see what the formula is like because like i said i've tried like glosses regular glosses before and other products but sometimes it's just a bit too sticky on the lid and n not always kind of glossy or wet enough for the kind of finish you want so i am quite eager to give that a go as well um but that is my wish list complete like i said i'm really sorry this is a bit of a mashup of kind of different video ideas um but i just thought it made sense to put them into one and update you and stuff like that so um i really hope you enjoyed this video if you're someone who was joining me in my three month no buy let me know if you've caved and what you've got or have you used up any of your products yet um would you repurchase anything on your wish list i'd love to hear as well um what else oh and i mentioned i did a poll a, a poll on my community thing asking whether you would want to see a live video from me now 89 percent of you said yes 11 said no which is absolutely fine um i don't know how well this is going to go because i've never tried a live my internet's not always the best and um 
I don't quite know what I'm going to do on the live. So it's just going to be like a, I'll probably just do makeup and also chat to you. But I just thought it was quite a nice way, whilst we're all in isolation, to communicate like more, like more of an interaction. Um, I just thought it might be quite fun. So what I would like to know from you is, um, obviously it's supposed to be UK based time, but what day do you think is the best and what time, UK time, do you think would work best or, yeah. Just let me know those and I will, um, it might, I might, I won't do it, it's not going to be like an often thing because I don't know how well it's going to go. Um, but I just thought it might be quite a fun way whilst we're in isolation to have more of an interaction with you guys and stuff like that. So just let me know down below your thoughts on that. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave any requests for future videos down below and anything you're loving at the moment. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.